Ever booked a flight online and decided to track its path? You see it, that strange curve. Why isn't it a straight line? Shouldn't planes take the shortest route? Buckle up, because we're about to uncover the secrets behind these puzzling flight paths. It might seem counterintuitive, but flying in a straight line isn't always the fastest way to get from point A to point B. It's all about understanding the Earth's shape, wind patterns, air traffic, and even some restricted areas. So next time you see that curved line on the map, don't think of it as a detour. Think of it as a carefully calculated route designed to get you and hundreds of others to your destination safely and on time. Let's dive into the fascinating world of aviation and explore the real reasons why planes don't fly in a straight line. First things first, we need to dust off our geography knowledge. The Earth is a sphere, well technically an oblate spheroid, but you get the idea. Flat maps, while helpful for navigating your neighborhood, don't accurately represent long distances. This is where the magic of the Great Circle Route comes in. Imagine slicing through the earth with a giant orange peeler, connecting your departure and arrival cities. That curved line along the surface, that's the shortest distance between two points on a sphere, so while it might look like a detour on a flat map, flying along the Great Circle route actually saves time and fuel. It's all about playing smart with geometry. Ever wished you could hitch a ride on a giant invisible conveyor belt in the sky? Well, airlines have figured out a way to do just that, thanks to jet streams. These high-altitude wind currents, like giant rivers of air, can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. By carefully plotting their courses, planes can tap into these jet streams and get a serious speed boost, saving time and fuel. Think of it like this. If you're rowing a boat downstream, you're going to move much faster than rowing against the current. It's the same principle with planes and jet streams. By working with nature, airlines can optimize their flight paths for efficiency. Section four, dodging storms and turbulence. We all know that bumpy feeling when an airplane hits a rough patch of air. Turbulence caused by everything from thunderstorms to jet streams themselves can make for an uncomfortable ride. Airlines take weather very seriously and pilots are constantly monitoring meteorological data to avoid areas of potential turbulence. This means that flight paths are often adjusted in real time to steer clear of stormy weather. Safety is always the top priority, and sometimes that means taking a slightly longer route to avoid a bumpy ride. So the next time you experience a smooth flight, thank a pilot for their expert navigation skills. Section 5, Air Traffic Control. Like a giant game of airplane chess, Imagine thousands of planes crisscrossing the skies every day. It's a recipe for chaos without a system to keep everything organized. That's where air traffic control comes in. Think of air traffic controllers as the conductors of this high-flying orchestra guiding planes along designated airways, much like lanes on a highway in the sky. These airways are carefully designed to ensure safe distances between aircraft and prevent collisions. So, even if a straight line seems like the most direct route, Planes often have to stick to these predetermined airways, which can involve some curving and looping. It's all part of a complex system that keeps our skies safe and organized. 